Hello, I'm Dan Gelber, and it's my privilege to serve as mayor of our city. On Tuesday, November 6th, residents will make their voices heard on six important ballot measures. Among them is a measure creating an independent office of inspector general to address fraud, waste, and abuse in government, and two items regarding a convention center hotel, one of which would dedicate the guaranteed rent payments the city receives from the hotel lease to fund stormwater projects, traffic reduction, and education. Additionally, you'll be asked to consider approving general obligation, GO, bonds to improve our city's parks, our neighborhoods, our infrastructure, and our public safety. So here's a little information on these six items to help prepare you to cast your vote. One natural question is why now for GEO bonds? GEO bonds are how governments fund their long-term infrastructure needs, as current funding for capital projects is very limited. It's been nearly 20 years since the city last issued GEO bonds. Our youth centers, with thousands of users from seniors to toddlers, are aging. Half of our city's fire stations need to be replaced in order to meet our emergency services needs. Miami Beach is facing the real threat of climate change, and these bonds include green and blue infrastructure and other resiliency enhancements. With this in mind, the city developed an initial project wish list of over $1.1 billion, stemming from over a dozen master plans, input from over 40 city boards and committees, and input from city commission and staff. The initial list was further reduced to a more workable number, 700 million. From there, the city commission engaged the community to help rank and prioritize the project list and reduce the total amount of the program even further. The mayor convened a GeoBond advisory panel representing a true cross-section of Miami Beach residents, including residents from Mid Beach, South Beach, and North Beach. For over two months, the panel met weekly for dozens of hours as they vetted and evaluated projects with a resident-centric lens. They developed criteria to prioritize projects such as quality of life, return on investment, and cost of inaction, especially as it pertains to resiliency. A key part of the panel's review was the resident input received via various community events and online surveys. The panel made its recommendation to the City Commission, whose final project list totaled $439 million, 95% consistent with the advisory panel's recommendations. So, what projects made the final list? The Parks, Recreational, and Cultural Facilities ballot question includes several projects, providing major improvements to all Miami Beach youth centers, creating 24 acres of new park space, upgrading 20 existing parks throughout the city, and completing the beach walk from South Point to 87th Street and the Bay Walk from Government Cut to Lincoln Road to provide residents and visitors with greater public access to the city's beaches and Biscayne Bay. The infrastructure ballot question includes neighborhood resiliency improvements and beautification to complement the planned stormwater projects. 25% of this geobond directly addresses the effects of climate change, while many of the other projects address other resiliency challenges. Planting up to 5,000 trees citywide to provide canopy coverage and shade, increasing our green and blue infrastructure replacing 25% of the city's sidewalks to improve walkability, and much more. The police, fire, and public safety ballot question includes replacing Fire Station 1 in South Beach and Fire Station 3 in Mid Beach, which provides life-saving emergency services to over 60% of our city, enhancing law enforcement technology by installing 26 license plate readers at strategic locations to aid crime-fighting and prevention efforts and adding security cameras in the entertainment district along the beach walk and in key commercial corridors. The full list of projects for each of the ballot questions is available at www.gomb2018.com. If the GeoBond passes, the impact to a property owner would be $82 a year for every $100,000 of taxable value. This impact would be gradually phased in over approximately 10 to 12 years. Once the GeoBond is approved, a resident oversight committee will be established to monitor all projects in the GeoBond program and ensure accountability to the public. The Inspector General ballot question includes creating an independent office of the Inspector General in order to identify efficiencies and to detect, investigate, and prevent fraud, waste, and abuse of power in city government. The office will be empowered to review, audit, and oversee municipal matters, including contracts, programs, projects, and expenditures. The office would be granted the power to subpoena witnesses, administer oaths, and require the production of records. The $620 million renovation of the Miami Beach Convention Center is part of the city's effort to remain competitive 
and attract a new caliber of internationally renowned shows. With a large percentage of competing convention centers in the nation possessing an adjacent hotel, the Miami Beach Convention Center Hotel ballot question is informed by previous proposals and includes approving the 99-year lease for the development of a Miami Beach Convention Center Hotel, which would be entirely privately funded, with no city funding or gambling as part of the hotel project. The hotel would include 800 rooms and feature an overhead pedestrian sky bridge connecting the hotel to the convention center. A separate ballot question, if approved by the voters, would dedicate the guaranteed annual rent payments the city receives from the hotel lease over $16 million in the first 10 years alone to fund stormwater projects, traffic reduction measures, and education in equal portions. Thanks for taking the time to be informed and please continue to be election ready. Make your voice heard and cast your vote on Tuesday, November 6th.